The gates of the Citadel have now opened, and it's time for you to conquer it. Located at the heart of Volcano, the Citadel is where you'll find a good chunk of the cosmetics. Here's a checklist for all of the items. In this video, we will only cover part one, as the second set of cosmetics have not yet been released. More on that later. Now, starting off, we got the Servant Zombies, which are present pretty much all across the floors of Citadel, but they are more common at the upper levels. They will come in three different variations, being in black, beige, and red colors, each dropping the black, beige, and red Servant Tops and Bottoms, respectively. The red ones will drop the three different masks which they wear. The beige one drops the goat skull, and the black will drop a broken goat skull. The thrall, which are the more commonly spawning zombies, will drop the tattered rags. It is also noteworthy that these cosmetics can be found inside these crates, located in some of the smaller rooms across the citadel, and in towers where the blood gillies are located. The abomination will also spawn in the citadel, but bear in mind that this is a very special boss zombie and has twice the health as the normal boss zombie, so be sure to proceed with caution when you kill it. Once defeated, the abomination will rarely drop the abomination mask. Next up, we got the eyeball mask, which can be found at Fairview in this location. While climbing the flesh tower, head over to this room where there will be a passage leading you directly towards the heart of the beast where the eyeball zombie will occasionally spawn in. Upon defeating it, it will drop either the servant tops and bottoms and or the eyeball mask. Regarding the demon hunter, he will spawn randomly across the map similarly to the white militia from the previous drawing event. Here are some of the places which my friend and I have found them and upon defeating him you will have a chance of obtaining the demon hunter top and duster and on top of that the new special melee weapon, the abomination claws. Upon recording this guide, the towers which the blood ghillie suits should spawn do not actually spawn in due to some sort of glitch. However, they can be obtained and found at the top of the citadel. To get to the top quickly, you will have to enter from the back of the citadel right over here. I will play a clip demonstrating how to enter. Activated later on, and they just did not. Have you noticed doors are just randomly opening around you or no? As for the jack-o'-lanterns, they normally spawn in the front of houses or in balconies. So far, the locations of where they spawn specifically are as follows. The orange jack-o'-lantern is one of the more commonly spawning jack-o'-lanterns, so I'd say for this one, just keep your eyes peeled whenever you come across a house. Locations my friend and I have found them to be are at Mansion, Campgrounds, and at the Farmer's House at the eastern side of Mackinac. It is noteworthy that the lit jack-o'-lanterns have also been seen in these locations, so bear that in mind while you are searching. The ghostly jack-o'-lantern spawns at the White Red Motel building at Fairview where the walls of the flesh resides, and the charred jack-o'-lantern has been spotted around the black strip going from the portal all the way to the citadel, specifically at the top of this wrecked house. And that about sums up all the cosmetics regarding the first part of the checklist. The chains, belts, and rags you see on the second part are currently unobtainable upon the recording of this video. There are speculations going around that this may have to do something with an alleged new map coming or something regarding the portal, but I don't want to make any assumptions right now. However, I would love to hear your theories down in the comments. Do you guys think anything would change with the map or portal once the next set of cosmetics drop? Comment down below your thoughts. More importantly, if you know of any other specific locations as to where the jack-o'-lanterns may spawn or uh, new locations you may have found of the demon hunter, put it down in the comments. And if time permits, I will try my best to make a second part of this guide concerning the other set of cosmetics and give you guys all the possible locations for the jack-o'-lanterns and demon hunter spawns if possible. 
I try to make these guides as quick and informative as possible just for you guys. So if you find guides like these even slightly useful, consider liking. Thanks for watching.